Well, not so long ago, both Toledo and Bowling Green football were considered MAC elite. Now, of all teams, Buffalo and Temple are some of the preseason favorites, while BG and Toledo are considered, as of MAC Media Day, to be middle of the road teams or worse. It doesn't bother Tim Beckman that his team's picked fourth in the West. It's preseason, and uh, the number one poll is the postseason poll. So, uh, you know, it, it'll be a great uh, opportunity for us to use that uh, as motivation. Motivation seems to be Beckman's secret weapon as he tries to re-energize Rocket football. Oh, it's, it's, it's much more energized in there. In the locker room, we, he lets us blast music, gets us all hyped and ready to go just for practices. So if we're that excited and stuff for practices, I know we're going to be just unreal for games. Another cool wrinkle, the coaches are moving in with the players during two-a-days. It's an opportunity for us to even build more relationships uh, with one another uh, by being with one another for 24 hours a day. Like it or not, Coach Beck's there. Like UT with Beckman, BG's also getting to know its new head coach. Dave Clausen's in town, and he's made it clear he's willing to be one with the players. He comes over, you know, warms up, and he plays quarterback for us. You know, that's, that's something that we all think is funny. They make fun of my arm, but completion percentage-wise is always pretty high up there. He has a good arm, but, you know, we... Uh, we have some pretty good playmakers, so it's kind of hard to get the ball over us. Of course, the guy whose arm really matters to BG fans belongs to Tyler Sheehan, and he's focused on big things ahead. Win a MAC championship, go to a bowl game, win a bowl game. Obviously, we want to win every game, but if it doesn't happen, as long as we win that MAC championship, I think everybody will be happy with the season. Even if they're picked to finish fifth in the East. The expectations we have for ourselves are, are far more important than any outside expectation, so... Uh, our expectation is that we're going to be playing here in about four months. Sounds like the two new coaches for two different schools think the same way. That perception is not half as important as the end result.